A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, the Jews tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father doing. For what he does, his son will also do. For the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to His Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life amen amen i say to you the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the son of god and those who hear will live for just as the father has life in himself so also he gave to his son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming, which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Any 
think this world has seen right after Jesus heals the man by the pool that we read about in yesterday's readings. So one thing that we need to take note of about the Jesus healing the man event was that it happened during Sabbath. And Sabbath 
It was a very important Jewish tradition. It's an appointed time where all Jews have to stop working, to pause and to rest. And observing the Sabbath, this is part of the Ten Commandments. So when Jesus healed the man on Sabbath, we kind of get why some Jews wouldn't like that. To them, to heal was to work. And so Jesus was breaking Sabbath. But to Jesus, he wasn't really breaking the Sabbath. For him, he wasn't against Sabbath at all. He was against the misinterpretations of Sabbath. You see, the Jewish leaders, they have been too focused on all the rules and what that man did wrong that they completely missed the miracle. Just as how they completely missed what the Sabbath was really all about. That it was a day that was supposed to bring healing, to bring fullness, to bring completion to God's people. And Jesus came fulfilling exactly that. Jesus, he could have waited to bring healing to that man after Sabbath. But no, instead, he, he, he was making a point. He was reminding everybody what the Sabbath was really supposed to be all about. And at the same time, he was revealing who he is and what he has come to do. That he was God, became man, who was to die so that the whole world may find new life in and through him. But this will only happen for those people who will choose to see and to hear, for people who will choose to believe. Sometimes we're like the Jewish leaders. Sometimes we tend to close our eyes and to do things our way. Sometimes we fail to see God working good things in our lives because He's not working in the way that we expect Him to. And sometimes we get caught up too much in all the things that are going wrong that we miss the miracles that God is revealing to us in our lives. So today, I want to invite you to allow God to speak truth about who He is through His Word today that He is God, and that He wants to create new life in you. And it could happen in ways that we don't expect. So let's invite Him into our lives today as we pray together. Jesus, we thank You for who You are. And we choose to believe in who You say You are. But in moments where it's a little bit harder to believe, we pray that You come and meet us here and help our unbelief come through for us. Be who you say you are in our lives today. And we choose to believe in you. We trust you and we love you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>